Greetings everyone, what's up here? Welcome to the Battlefield. So Battlefield 1 in 2022, almost, almost getting there, you know, 2022. The game is still awesome. I played, you know, here and there, you know, sometimes I deleted, you know, play the games and then just download it again and, and, and so on. So that's exactly what I did, you know, download the game, jump into a couple of like domination gameplays and had a great time in this game and it's still awesome. I love it. I love the war feel, like this map designed. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I like it. You know, I liked uh, this junglish map. I know I think it's pretty cool. But all the maps in this in this game are awesome, and and still still you know people playing it. I uh, gotta love it. I didn't want to play conquest because I wanted some um, some uh, quick uh, some some quick games. I didn't have much uh, playing time, so I wanted some quick games. So domination will do the trick. And uh, since we don't have domination, Battlefield Five. You know, I'm sad. I'm sad. But, uh, you know, we have Battlefield 1 for that, so, hey, what's not to like? But this game is awesome. I love it. You know, still one of my favorites. I, I like it, although I do prefer the gunplay mechanics and the move animation uh, in Battlefield 5. I think it's way better, in my opinion. I'm not trashing this game, but I think Battlefield 5 has that way better, man. Um, it's more, like, smoother. I, I, just, I like it a lot better. But... The bread and butter of this commentary will be Battlefield Portal. And um, I like the idea, man. I think it's pretty awesome. This is a good way to revive some of those games. This is a good way to kind of like uh, stop the remaster thing. You know, I mean, it's only multiplayer. You know, I love campaigns. It will be fun to play those campaigns in you know, 4K or in you know, a better resolution. But anyways, um, but the idea is pretty, is pretty great. You know, being able to combine, you know, those games. And, and do whatever you want. You don't, need, you don't even need to own the game in order to do this, which is pretty smart. So I believe, or I think other companies are going to be copying this because it's a pretty clever idea to bring people in, to make them interested in the game, and, you know, in the end, you know, just to buy your product. Because, you know, if you love that, then you may want to jump into Battlefield 2042 and, and play, um, play the game. So, you know, pretty good. I like it. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be like old Battlefield games. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought it was gonna be, you know, like, like a huge combination. But no, it seems to be just uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 1942, Bad Company, and um, Battlefield 2042. Is it Bad Company or Bad Company 2? I think it's Bad Company 2. Um, which is awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's a new, it's a new community-driven multiplayer super experience. That's cool. The only, the only thing that I'm like a little concerned is uh, people. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this, if you played um, Battlefield 3, was it Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4? Remind me. Um, where the whole the rent a server thing and people were just putting all these like stupid rules and, and, and like I just wanted to play the game normal. I just wanted to use, let's say, a shotgun. But oh no, shotguns are banned. You cannot play the shotgun. It's like. What's wrong with shotguns, man? It's a close quarter map, you know, when I use a shotgun. So all those rules, all those things, you know, I hate rules, you know, I'm not against against stuff, but it's just like, this video game rules, you know, they're kind of annoying, you know, I want to use the, a shotgun, I want to use an SMG, uh, an assault rifle, whatever I want to use, you know, it's in the game, it's not cheating, I'm doing anything wrong, I know it's a server, they can do whatever they want, so, you know what, I don't play the server, I just find some uh, another server to play in, because, I want to play the game the way it's meant to be, you know? So I want the full experience as we destroy people here with the Lewis. Um, so that's my only concern, you know, when people start applying all these rules and all this stuff and it's just, I don't know. I, I mean, I know I can do, or I can make my own server and, and, and just make it normal. But um, sometimes I just don't want to make my server. I just want to just jump into a game. Like I said, sometimes you don't have enough time. You're busy with school, with stuff, you know? Uh, work here and there and then you don't have much time just to sit down and, and hopefully you know this server will fill up or something um, so I just want to jump into a quick game and just you know do my thing play the objective destroy the enemy and um, that was BS that there right there let me tell I thought I was shooting the guy first but he had a shotgun right but anyways so the idea is awesome I love I love that cannot wait to to give it a try hopefully the good servers hopefully it's nothing too crazy and also looking forward to bring you gameplays of Battlefield 2042 alongside some, you know, still, you know, I'm posting some of the Battlefield 5 
wish I got some gameplays um, lined up, pretty fun stuff. Hopefully you enjoy the, the latest one, the Battlefield 5 with the Giver 43. Uh, pretty awesome gun, we, we definitely... See, there's this lack in the game, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, shooting these people first. They're not dying. And um, yeah, just bring you those gameplays and uh, just keep going, you know, with the game. Pretty good stuff. And if you like more Battlefield 1, just let me know because, you know, uh, I, I like when you guys tell me um, or let me know what you guys uh, like to watch. But Battlefield 5, uh, I like it a lot. So if you want more Battlefield 1, just let me know in the comments below. Just please, yes, bring more Battlefield 1 gameplays. So if, if, if a lot of people, you know, I agree with that, then I will definitely um, re-download the game because I, I deleted it to play something else. So, but, um, so what do you think about Battlefield Portal? You know, and I hope maybe they add more, more games to the, to the list. Um, I mean, it's got to be something difficult to do uh, in terms of technology and, and adding the maps and just changing. And of course, you know, they went and, and fixed the maps. Um, but I think one of the, the most challenging things of this idea will be, okay, you ready? You ready? Weapon balancing. Um, weapon balancing is going to be the hardest challenge because we had some pretty good weapons in Battlefield 3. 1942, I didn't play it, I'm going to be honest. And by Company 2, um, just a little bit, I was just a little bit, that was, no, Battlefield 3 was my first Battlefield. Uh, but I did play Bad Company 2, I think a little bit before Battlefield 3 was released. So the guns had more recoil. And um, yeah, the game was different. Battlefield 3, the same thing. You know, guns had more recoil. And although some of them was, were pretty beast. But I think weapon balancing is going to be the challenge for this because even, even with vehicles, you know, trying to balance all these that's a huge challenge so I'm really uh, curious as to how these guys are going to do that because that man is that, that that's gonna be insane that's gonna be insane uh, for this guy so hopefully everything is I mean I, I, I expect you know certain guns to be OP at the beginning and then they just go on and, and fix it that's that's something we can expect you know that's that's pretty obvious with the amount of guns that we're gonna have and uh, the amount of uh, vehicles and you know helicopters and this and that uh, it's gonna be pretty crazy trying to balance everything but hopefully it's nothing too crazy and it's good and um, I wonder if they're gonna bring some of the uh, I think at a launch there will be only six maps two for each game correct me if I'm wrong something like that, that, that that's what I read I think six or eight uh, I hope uh, they bring some of the Vietnam DLC uh, maps and weapons that would be pretty awesome you know because that was that was really interesting to watch you know that was the, the coolest approach for a DLC in a shooter game um, in my opinion that was really good it's a, it's a different game it's another game within a game and uh, it was pretty badass and, and, and I like that you know but we'll see if they bring those uh, those guns those Vietnam maps uh, helicopters and the whole vibe and uh, pretty pretty cool so, but like I said, uh, weapon balancing is going to be the biggest challenge, man, um, to make everything uh, work properly. You know, SMGs, LMGs, the sniper rifles, uh, especially weapons, you know, from 1942 uh, and weapons from 2042, almost, you know, almost futuristic. Uh, man, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. So looking forward to that. Like I said, looking forward to bringing some gameplays of it. And uh, we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, in the meantime, you know, just enjoying Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. It's all good. You know, I haven't played Call of Duty in so long. Maybe I should. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get my butt kicked. You know, so rusty in Call of Duty. But, but once again, if you want those gameplays, just let me know in the comments below, man. Uh, I'd like to know uh, your opinion. Your opinion is very valuable to me. So please, please do so. Um, otherwise, I just keep posting, you know, Battlefield 5. Because I like it. I don't hate the game. You know, some people do. I don't know what the whole deal is about the game. I think it's great. It's playing, you know, the best. Uh, no issues, at least in my opinion. Other than some of my, you know, lag issues. But that's uh, that's on my end, I believe. But on the that, the game's playing awesome. You know, nice and smooth. I like everything about it. And uh, I don't know. It's just great. It's just great playing Battlefield 5. So, awesome stuff, man. Like I said, look forward to to some more, uh, some of these uh, other conquest gameplays, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. You know, trying different guns here and there. 
I just try to go with uh, with different loadouts. But the thing is, uh, with the vehicles, you know, it is different. It's a lot easier, like in like domination, just to try different guns, um, capture some objectives, and you know, run a gun and do your thing. But uh, in conquest, you know, you have to destroy vehicles. So I like to destroy vehicles. You know, they're pretty annoying, and I just want to be part of it. <laughs> the vehicle destruction. There we go. Because you know that's 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 what I do. You know that's my thing. But um, I think I think um, I I've been mixing it up a little bit. So you guys can look forward to more you know SMG and and all that and some uh, sniper or recon kit action. And uh, well, just a quick victory over here with the Lewis with the kind of like gold skin and you know battlefield battlefield one the yellowish gold skin. Pretty awesome. So. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for your support, for subscribing, for the comments to all of you. You know, I appreciate it. And um, I look forward to bringing more gameplays. And are we the best squad? Of course. We always are the best squad. You know, it's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. And I'll uh, see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, later.